Hi everyone. Hey guys. So I'm Poise. And I'm Drunk Hair Customs. So once again, we normally don't do these videos, but we wanted to explain a situation experience in Bagel Studios' Discord server and relating to interacting with Bagel Studio and his moderators. Um, we do appreciate if you could just consider watching the full video before commenting. Before we start, I just want to clear up some Fulcrum headcanons. Yes, me and DBC are still friends, and yes, the BMF callout was just that. And like my friend BMF said, don't start shit in this case, shit talking or being inappropriate about minor, and there won't be backlash. So, I joined Discord on my current account April 15th, 2021. And almost a year later-ish, January 12, 2022, I joined the Bagel server. And I joined Discord on October 2nd, 2021, and I joined Bagel's Discord server on January 16th, 2022. And to be honest, there were some good times. Um, we met some people who we considered friends, even though some of them do did turn out to be backstabby, whether Fulcrum's mods or just server members in general. But there was a lot of fun and some funny chats and some very entertaining times. Um, and it's a shame with how it ended, but to cut to the main parts, around November 7th or 8th at nighttime in 2023, after I got promoted, a couple activities rose up. I was then hit with the surprise of having the opportunity to become a fulcrum. It was very mixed feelings at the time due to some other stuff. But when I first joined, they asked for personal information, like an age, and they did some digging, um, which is like, whatever, it's kind of interesting. Um, but so I just joined, and I didn't want to get kicked out or whatever for my age. So I told them the truth and, and it was before, before um, I told them, I just kind of watched them kind of like joke and nudge at my age and, and then they actually like watched my videos and then they started making jokes about my voice, which um, now I'm more conscious of a uh, new insecurity I didn't know um, I could have. So, um, but so yeah, now I'm more conscious of that. And I did try to like kind of change it or I don't know, I can't really physically change it. So, um, but they kept teasing at it, so eventually it just kind of all builds up and you start to be more aware of it. So anyways, um, um, they also kind of teased quite a few times I wasn't part of like the Rated Up 18 Plus channel, which is kind of strange that they have that Lego sub in my opinion. But I later found out in like January that there was another channel that I wasn't trusted enough to be part of, which later had been renamed to the has been and I kind of saw it. The earlier conversations so on to the next part um there was a good there's a lot there was a lot of good um times in the fulcrum channel um but when you get promoted there is rules so you can't share anything there's also teasers and channels and you get the opportunity to buy on his fulcrum page on his website um which we'll talk later more about but basically I realized there's a lot of favoritism. So if you do leak something, um, sometimes if you're close enough with bagels, you'll just be let off. I did leak George Covenant back snow once and I was forgiven, which was nice after I apologized. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of secrets and hiding and lying about certain figures and just lying to general, which we personally wouldn't do in a Discord server. We wouldn't have higher roles. We wouldn't have favoritism. We wouldn't have teasers deleted right away. Uh, we wouldn't do any of that. And we would actually try to restock the items instead of enjoy watching them. Yeah, Bagels enjoys watching individuals fight over items. And if they miss out on it and get upset, he gets a high off that. And I think it's also important to note that in the Fulcrum chat, he sells, um, he promises general like a bunch of extras of figures that like were from canceled orders or whatever but yet 
he promises it first to general and then all of a sudden many times they'll just end up vanishing and he says he doesn't have them anymore because he had to you know replace certain orders or whatever but no really he sold them early to the fulcrum channel and he gave them first dibs so the chance that like especially if it was a very sought after figure such as ahsoka's dusty variant you know he did get 10 of them and he even puts that on the fulcrum listing on his website but yet he did say general would have had you know a chance but no he didn't even let them try with one instead he had all the fulcrums try so one thing i've also realized is that they like to gossip and backstab a lot which just seems very childish in my opinion they've talked about many companies silver members and all sorts they won't show you because obviously it would expose them so i guess we have to you know defend our name since they refuse to do anything because we post our final messages to leave it at that because i wouldn't stand for certain moderators to do something and say shit about my friend but they continue to say oh we can't help you since they're mad and biased about past stuff and also they timed us out for a week so we couldn't explain ourselves so basically guys um in that week they're gonna try to mend this patch because you know and damage control revenge for all of the you know terrible stuff that bagels has done to us i decided i was able to get a hold of um his fulcrum website and i recorded a video of myself going in and it shows that he put up pre-orders early for his pad uh his solo pad wave two of thrawn talents and mcgregor and he was giving the fulcrums early access to them even though he claimed they weren't going to be pre-orders and that and he then like tried to like cover it up and he's like no i was just gonna have a few people that i really trust but no it was the fulcrum and he also you can see in the video that i recorded which again message um us if you'd like to see the video or maybe we could even i'll put it up in here since they but don't anyway, want to give evidence and proof we will because we won't lie about certain things and then block you from talking so the mods have forced our hands to post this video since they won't accept us typing in Discord. I will say, um, there also was a Trilla, a White Revit, and there was a Green Ahsoka on there as well with these other pre-orders. And yeah, just Kanan as well and Anakin and Obi-Wan. A lot of figures that were promised that there'd be extras of the general he was selling early and he lied about green ahsoka he claimed that it was a creator exclusive variant that there were very few made but instead he got extras made and he uh let the fulcrums all get them and fulcrums are allowed to sell it only to fulcrums and they're not even allowed to post with it they're just allowed so he made like up this like thing where that this figure doesn't exist and then air air so um posted it like the render but he didn't get in trouble another thing is that another fulcrum had by accident said to a non-fulcrum member and they didn't get in trouble and yet they got to continue to buy stuff so i guess the favoritism comes in and once you're friends with bagels or close so have been there for longer then you don't get punished and they gave club nights early and they showed george so there wasn't 50 george and there probably wasn't a 150 ahsoka so because the fulcrums got first dib and yeah guys it was a lie you've been being lied to this whole time bagels sells things early to people and he lies about the limits because the mods are abusing their powers and silencing us for weeks so that way they could damage control fix the situation to paint their light and bagels these are the great tastes and friends you have you have people who are bullying a minor over three carbonite tiles then you have a couple people rise bricks and bmf saying inappropriate sexual thing about a minor you think it's funny to make jokes about rape even though you never said the word rape you heavily imply it David. go after his mom how is that supposed to be interpreted and we have the messages and you can't justify yourself I don't care that you're ex-military. 
okay? You would expect from a veteran, an ex-veteran who served this country, that better behavior. That's not acceptable. I don't think if we would ask another ex-veteran, they would think it's funny, rape, or whatever, because it's not. It's a very serious, sensitive, triggering topic. But you just think it's a joke for some reason. And you think we're just like, a bunch of like whiny babies that like oh we got our feelings hurt by it no what you said is outright wrong so do not abuse your mod powers and try to find out our age or address once more clearly you have enough power to be able to talk to other moderators and get information so do not cross that line you already cross enough lines talking about people's family members and illegal shit and now you want to ask about people's age because then bmf is like oh all right so i can't go after the child so let me hire a another child to beat him up which another moderator jake suggested as a funny joke how can you be so cruel to joke about beating up a child or going after their mom i need to say this hunter we know you're watching what if, what if one of your daughters was in this situation or one of your children? Seriously, how would you feel as a parent if someone said this? You know, it, it's sickening and I don't know how you can stand around and brush it aside. David and the moderators on this and just brush it under the rug and say, oh, it's all under control. Seriously, you're a father. You should know, you know, this isn't okay. If you guys are wondering, again, for quick context, you might be wondering how specifically between me and uh, David or BMF this whole conflict started. So basically, May the 3rd, um, and it was May the 4th in Australia, right before the drop, I asked, would there be limits for the Carbonite Ahsoka? I wanted to buy about three of them, because I've been waiting a while and I wanted them for months. Two years. So I asked Beggles, will there be limits? And he would not reply. And I don't know, in the past, Orders have been canceled if you buy, you know, more than you're supposed to, and he forgets to state it. And let me add, he purposely ignores you quite a few times just to shit talk about it in fulcrum instead of just replying and answering to someone who wants to support you by buying extra. My friend was a hell of a loyal supporter. We both bought tons of your figures after two years dedicating our time, talking chat, hoping to talk to you, and... We bought all your figures, we supported you, defended you against people attacking the server, and this is the things we get. You purposely ignore and talk badly about my friend instead of just answering. And he is someone who wanted to buy multiple of your Ahsokas, and you just treated yeah, him like shit because you, know, you have a huge ass ego. All of you guys you know, uh, drunk bear, you're evil, you're a terrible person, go kill you. Wow, for leaking some finished products, which he couldn't get his story straight with the other mods and fulcrums because they had a fumble out answer. No, it wasn't sold, even though he implied it was sold. And one of the moderators said it was a hidden listing. So why the hell are you having hidden li listings on your website if they're not for sale, if you weren't going to sell the fulcrum? Let's but, not know, all start lying now. You stabbed us. So we stabbed you back. And cry that you lost four hours. You said you lost four hours of your studies because of us? You literally said that like 30 minutes after it happened. How is that possible? It was not four hours later. Yeah, and I would know because we got kicked out two seconds again, later. I, I find interesting is that Bagels is turning the card. Oh, I'm quitting Discord. I'm getting rid of my s chat. And by the way, I'm pretty sure he still has his chat and only removed the fulcrum roll after he got exposed. And he's getting upset over a few pictures instead of thinking, oh, wait, how come my friends, these moderators I trusted, are talking sexual about a minor? Instead, the big How are you focusing on leaks it. right now? Who leaked it? That's what you're worried about. Honestly, Bagels, you could say anything you wanted, and there would be people who probably support you in that server for saying it. Because it just, it makes me sick. It really does that you abuse your power so much and with all these mods. It was one thing to like, to talk shit, but it is another thing to time us out 
so we couldn't defend ourselves or explain just for the mods to be like we'll handle this and we'll control this don't worry folks how disgusting is that we're having a free speech are we in a dictator server we never realized that the mods abuse their power this much with favoritism they get to pick and choose out of the 1.7k members in the server they get to choose who gets picked and who gets a higher role to have higher power you've created an unfair situation for everyone which is just disgusting already and you love hearing people feel bad for you because think of the other night when you said oh no i lost four hours of sleep and you even posted a dramatic like thing with zam's arm that her other arm finished you were like i'm not even in the mood to say what i usually say so i'm just gonna put this bagels how do you think that we felt over the course of a year how did how do you think we felt the shit talking we had a we didn't say anything we kept quiet we didn't want to get in trouble but of course, now you feel, what, like a smudge of a, like, sadness? So do not start playing the victim, as your BMF friend said. As I said, it probably, what we did to him with those images was nothing compared to what he's put us through or just the type of person that he's been and acts. Now you know how it feels. People have the audacity to message me that I should end my life because I shared a few of his images. Shame on you. I don't understand. Like, threatening a child. Say that to a person over an image. We have a rose. Now, Eros has honestly been so cruel to me. You just would blast me and slander me every time, like, I would try to like interact with you and when I would talk about how excited I was for Carbonite Ahsoka, you just, you acted like I was some psychopath, like it was just a joke, like I, I did really want her but like you just took it to the next level but yet another user, Miles, talked way more about Pre Vizsla before I even started the Carbonite Ahsoka thing, you wouldn't have dared ever called him you know crazy or unstable because they're friends or, yeah i mean obviously there's a bias there but like you know you're just you're so rude you didn't have to just, be an you, know, you didn't have to be an ass over some three plastic tiles that is crazy you kept making snilo comments over and over again not just once not twice quite a few times in fulcrum in public you would think it's so funny and I would think you're a little obsessed with making these comments and trying to make everyone laugh. I don't know why you're trying to bully a kid who is excited over these tiles to support a creator. Why do you think it's appropriate that the other programs got to talk shit about my friend in front of me? I wanted three Carbonite Ahsokas. I kind of mentioned this earlier. I asked, Bagels didn't reply. He replied with, we can all live with, and this was right before like, hours before the drop on may 3rd for us it was in australia it was may the 4th for some context so he said oh we all could live with one this got me very annoyed because i've been waiting two years for this and i would like to get a few and you know i was really upset that bagels didn't reply which there was no reason why because he was active in the chat so then i called out a few days later because i waited and there were 30 carbonite ahsokas left that just flo floated around on the website so clearly they didn't sell out like you know like david originally expected or thought and you know everybody clearly who wanted one got a chance you know even if they wanted multiples so i waited just for him so i was really mad and i called him out um so i pinged him in a different um, chat that I was supposed to be having like a conversation in. So I know BMF's the type of person to get pissed off at, you know, being pinged twice because that would have been an argument or fight right there. So I didn't ping him again and I started talking in the chat about how, you know, he's such a hypocrite because like customs on April 5th drops their figures and yeah, they did double the quantities of the Mandos, 
the mall Nando's. However, it was meant for everybody to maybe make an army pack of like four and maybe a fifth one for Obi-Wan because with Satine you get an extra Obi-Wan closed eye had to recreate that scene. Not 12 of them, but yet you got 12 of them and you want to tell me what to do. Someone brought up, well, you're a grown man. You have your own money. Well, I get money from, you know, selling stuff, figures, whatever. I have my own money too. Don't tell people, David, don't tell people what they can and can't buy. Especially when you're buying 12 or something. So let me think. If if Drunk Bear wants to buy two or three Kermit Sokas at 150 which by the way, guys, I guess that wasn't 150 because, you know, Fulcrum. But, in fact, these are from the Fulcrum drop because they, out of Bagel's goodwill after he demoted me in his, like, weird-looking, emotionless AI email, he gave these out of goodwill even though we paid for them. And then he canceled the rest of our stuff, took his time applying, then demoted me real quick. It's interesting oh, because he was... joke about how Poe's green Ahsoka will be living with him and that every green Ahsoka has departed Australia except for Poe's and he just and they made side comments so about funny. that too it, it just he, he he thought it was hilarious which I, I just I don't understand at all the mentality of that basically BMF got 12 out of 300 but I'm just saying maybe some other 11 people would have enjoyed some Mandos but then he wants to talk about two or three Cobra Sokas. And once again, they stayed overnight. They didn't even sell. In fact, Bagels has enough for a whole extra drop and maybe a second one. Yeah, so after, after this whole little feud between the limits, David takes the ultimate step, a step that I couldn't dream of taking. He decides to go into the Fulcrum channel, that he decides to go into it. And at first he he goes on about how, oh, he's mad that, you know, he didn't get to defend himself. Also, he messaged me once and said, hey, don't make an asshole out of me again, you know. Because like, you replied in question answers to a public question of Ask My Limits. And then DBC proceeded to continue the public conversation in general instead of question and answers so it's, it wasn't some private thing a to you started talking to a fulcrum and first you asked hunter you said hey how old is he now as i might have stated previously i have said once or twice in the server that you know my age that i'm 16 but you know, it was like very random and you'd have to dig to look for it. And BMF didn't know my age. Hunter messages me and he's like, hey buddy, how old are, you know, how old are you if you don't mind? He said it like, how old will you be when you make your first figure? Cause we were planning on making and hopefully still do. So he takes that info that he'll be 17 soon. He gives him my age. So then another fulcrum chimes in and he says Myron. well since he's a minor you probably can't you know do something yourself but why don't you pay someone to you know beat him up well bmf thinks this is the funniest thing ever he's like no nah, i'll pay low to jake the moderator yeah so he thinks it's funny about beating me up over a little dispute eating kids Again, up you don't cross you don't, you don't squash online beef with, you know, real life violence. You just don't do that. That's not cool. And clearly David has- Especially to someone underage. Because he thinks because he's an ex-veteran, as I stated earlier, that, you know, he's invincible and he can do whatever he wants. Well, with his mod powers, I guess right. so. So then BMF goes on to talk about how, oh, well, since I'm a minor, you know, really, he can't do anything to me. However, he would have no problem coming to my house. And well, I, I don't really feel comfortable. And going after him, his mom as quoted. 
You don't joke about someone's family members. And you know, he says this, I, you know, I could see if he said it once, that's the only way you could, you know, say maybe it was a joke. He said it funny. twice, following up with and beating up a kid. the time, it was even more detailed than the first time about how, and you say Yeah, because I'm pretty sure he repeated it a couple of times to the other fulcrums, and they all laughed and about it. He... Okay, speaking of inappropriate stuff, we have another moderator, Rise Bricks who was on Instagram, just like BMF. On a voice chat once, Drunk Bear joins and Rice Bricks, who first of all is like, oh, the comments aren't that great. And then he proceeds to get them. And then he's you like- You proceed to get them and post about how cool they are, but yet you said they were just stupid. And, and you downplayed you Bagel's time. work and then you uplift Nanorex or Phoenix Customs work. So you're just simping just like how you are being a hypocrite by calling Drunk Bear Custom a D-Rider, which is inappropriate to say to a minor. And you know, it's funny because your profile pic is of the Phoenix cow and you're a D-Rider for that, but yet like you have no problem. And it's so funny because as we were in that call and you called me a D-Rider for bagels, you yourself were being a hypocrite with that but also nanorex joins the call and you know you start simping and one could say or argue deriding nanorex that you love his work and that but yet when you know someone and also i thought bagels was your friend you know that's pretty rude how to disrespectful someone. to talk badly about your friend's work but you know like we wouldn't even do fans. that and we're not our biggest fan of bagels right now so we, bagels, we, we maybe wouldn't. you need to take BMF's advice and check out your great taste in friends and mods. And by the way, this know, isn't even the first time Rise has done this. In po in Fulcrum, private chat, in the same chat that I have access to, Rise and Aro start inappropriate conversation about drunk bear simping and doing sexual things with bagels because of the accent who makes weird jokes like that about someone yeah, under age? Apparently age? that if I would hear Bagel's accent, which I would ever hear his accent, I would dunk? You're saying that about a minor. Aero started this, then Rise continued it, and then no mod or a couple of fulcrums laughed along and joined the comments. Again, the whole situation is just so sad and so disappointing, you know? people who I thought were my friends and they really weren't they were just you know people lying and pretending to be my friends and it, it's just it really is just hurt, hurtful during the fulcrum drop before May 4th um like probably April 26th ish Bagels gives the fulcrum a password and he's like here you go guys here's some greens George Cub Knights go ahead first come first serve Not and they mention murals Oh All yeah. The murals that were supposed to be for general, except for one or two. She now, just left it for leftovers, intended. and he said that too. One of the fulcrums, which we will not name, who was leaking green Ahsoka to the public, actually bought a mural, and didn't get their role removed. So I guess if you've been there longer, it's fine. The reason why I got demoted and kicked out of fulcrum, since they won't explain it, so I will. So basically. No, it wasn't about some carbonite. So to the mod who said that, do not lie about why I got kicked out. So during the Falcon drop, I would say April 26-ish, I was fumbling on both my devices, signed into accounts with my PayPal. I was fumbling to get the items because if you've been in one of these drops, they sell instantly especially if there's only a certain amount of stuff. So you have to go quickly. So at the time I wasn't thinking, oh, who am I gonna get it shipped to? I'm just trying to get it ordered so I can email bagels afterwards. So later on, I email bagels and I don't get a reply for a few days. I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna come buy my stuff and all is good. And everything seems normal. And he has time to promote fulcrums and then demote me and give me a weird looking reply that doesn't even sound like him in an email kicking me out. 
because he thinks I try to get two green Ahsokas and I try to get two murals. I don't even need two murals. If I would have got one, I probably would have tried to help a fellow Fulcrum out. And speaking of a fellow Fulcrum, I got an extra Cub Knight to help them out. But I gotta make sure I state it was a fellow Fulcrum so I don't get any mods thinking, oh, it was for Drunk Bear. Because I want you guys to think about this right now. If I got one for Drunk Bear, why the hell is he wasting his money to get more Cub Knight Sokas? So obviously he doesn't know about the drop, let alone he's getting any, because it's a fulcrum secret. And for Green Ahsoka, I didn't know I got two. Because you're just trying to order one. If you don't see that other order confirmation, how are you supposed to know you got two? So I'm just trying to get one, because nobody knows about it. So I can't tell it to the public, I can't scalp it, I can't give it to someone else, because no one knows about it. And Drunk Bear didn't know about Green so I want you guys to think about that because you didn't give me a chance to explain before Bagels handed me off to his moderators instead of replying to my email after he demoted me that quickly. It's just nasty that I didn't get to explain myself. Similar to us getting timed out for a week for just not even talking about green, just the fact that your moderators, Rise, BMF, Aeros, are saying weird inappropriate shit. And but you know what isn't wrong? To post these for first dibs for Fulcrum, so do not try to lie about this again, Bagels. You got caught once, and you're trying to continue this lie. So yes, you sold to the Fulcrums early. And do not act like, oh, they didn't get first dibs. So why are these- Oh, and they also got Kanan, and Trilla, and White Rabbit. And Green. So tell me why you have these complete renders on your listing for what, shit and giggles? Aren't you selling them to Fulcrum? So I wouldn't trust these people because what we realize is that you can't idolize or idolize these people and put them on pedestals because Drunk Bear did and look what happened. This is how you get treated once they find you not to be fun or entertaining or like, like, they just get rid of you. Yeah, and bagels. So your support goes all the way down the drain. I really don't like how you, you know, you had your moderators, you know, do the dirty work for you. Um because they're your goons, obviously. You don't really want to lift a finger. Again, because you're the king. Why should you have to? So let the nobles do it. Exactly. You know, Bagels, you are just like back in Europe when they had... That's why they're called the nobles in the chat. The nobles were all these rich people who lived in Europe. And, you know, they had all this stuff. Um, and they were so rich. And they wore all these good clothes and that. Well, the peasants suffered. And, you know... And the kings and nobles, you know, thrived. And also, I said this originally, but I'll say it again in this video. But Bagels, this is a has-been, because I know you love the show. So, it seems like, in this case, I'm Lucifer getting banished from heaven, a fallen angel, or whatever. While the other nobles are angels and high-up angels. And you get to be the one in charge and you get to pick and choose who lives in your little heaven space and they all talk badly about people and just like in the show you realize these people are not your friends they're not good they backstab they lie once the minute you're out of heaven they will shit talk you and make snide little comments so never trust these people that you once considered to be your friends because they have no problem talking badly about you as long as other, the other Fulcrums agrees and it pleases Bagels. I'm not gonna buy any more of your figures. I don't wanna support you. So yeah, it is personal. And I sold my shit. And to be honest, I don't even want these fuck carbonites. You know, I, I wanna make this comment quick. I don't think I've ever said this out loud, but in the show Lego Monkey Kid, there's this character named Peg and um, Aeroso reminds me a lot of him. So Aeroso, if you're watching this, you should look him up and look just up. Just like Adam from Has Been. Yeah, but also just like the way you act and like some replies you make. Like Aeroso, you would you would be the perfect ping from Monkey Kids. And yeah, you would be if you were in Has Been. You would be Adam. Oh, and Bagels, I have your Carbonite Ahsoka. 
I now think of it as a trophy. Every time I look at it, I'll think of, you know, I won't think of it as, oh, such a beautiful piece of work that, you know, is just so cool. I'll think of it as actually the ones, the few of them that I got from you. I'll think of them as trophies that, you know, of have... all the times I had to deal with you and put up with you and you made me feel like just a worthless piece of trash. If you're pissed over some leaks rather than adults making inappropriate comments about underage people, then maybe you need to click off this video and get some fuck help because you do not justify some finished leaks that was sold to fulcrums and lied to you and then be like, oh, that's fine that the mods who have higher power got to say that shit and get away with it is fucking disgusting. It should have been just about collecting videos and everyone having fun in this community, but instead it has been turned into favoritism, power play, higher power, abusing power. I mean, a lot of you mods just like you're giving Discord moderators already a bad name. Like they already have a bad name, and you just make it worse. Like you know, abusing it, it's a power stereotype is that like that Discord mods like are weird. Um, they you know watch very inappropriate things, which clearly you guys have proven with your eighteen and up channel. Okay. So the most important part of this video that we wanted to get the message across Do not think these people are your friends and do not put them on high pedestals because once they break your trust Then they'll banish you from talking and you'll be just like us So bagels, I hope you're able to look at your friends again And realize that you do not have great taste in friends so take BMS advice and get some better friends and get some better mods. And maybe you shouldn't have a secret channels and higher roles and all this to make it unfair. Just treat everyone equal.